Yeah, don't do that. That's why these were banned. Jarts. Javelin darts. Yard darts. Today I'm going to be making a scale replica of the banned game of lawn darts. Three years ago I was able to get my hand on an original dart and I took every single measurement possible so one day I could make a replica of it. Well, today is that day. So one very important thing to know about lawn darts is that these are banned from sale in the US and Canada. These examples that I'm making today are for demonstration, model, and historical purposes only. These are not toys and are very dangerous. Please do not replicate these yourself. I am not responsible for your actions or actions of others around you if you make these for yourself. Okay, now with that out of the way, let's get to it. The history of lawn darts dates back to the early 1950s when manufacturers wanted to take their classic indoor bar game outside. At the time, there weren't any of the popular yard games around that we have today. Nowadays, you can't go to an outdoor party without seeing a variety of games that test your accuracy against the friends. With massive growth of the suburbs during the 1950s and 60s, lawn darts became vastly popular as a fun way to spend time outdoors with their family. With its increased popularity, there were more injuries from kids getting in the pathway of the dart. In December of 1970, the FDA actually came out with a ruling that this label had to be stuck on all lawn dart boxes. Warning, not a toy for use by children. May cause serious or fatal injury. Read instructions carefully. Keep out of the reach of children. It also required that lawn darts could not be sold as a toy for children or sold in toy stores or toy departments. More petitions were made to completely ban the game, but was not held up in the court system, so these dangerous darts remained on store shelves. Through the early to mid-1980s, lawn darts grew in popularity to become one of the most popular yard games around. Tragically, in April of 1987, a seven-year-old girl was killed when a lawn dart was thrown and hit her in the head. The girl's father then began to advocate for a total ban of lawn darts, saying that there was no other way to keep these completely out of the hands of kids. A study was then done that showed in the prior eight years, 6,100 Americans Americans had been sent to the ER because of lawn dart injuries. Of that total, 81% were 15 and younger, and half of them were 10 and younger. The court system upheld the ban of lawn dart sales and advised that all existing lawn darts be either disposed of or destroyed. Nowadays, it's fairly uncommon to see lawn darts come up for sale. And if they're listed on eBay, they'll get delisted very quickly. The original versions are highly sought after, so if they do show up on other sites, they usually sell pretty quickly. There are modern foam lawn darts available now, but they don't quite share the same fun factor as the original lawn darts. All right, let's check out the drawing. Here are the drawings I got from the original Regent brand lawn dart. In this video, I'll be recreating slider darts, where the fin slides back and forth, making it fly a little bit better through the air. I will be using metric measurements, since that is how I measured the original dart three years ago. These originally came in a pack of four, but with the materials I was able to source, I will be making seven of them. My total cost for this project was right around $100. All the products used in this video can be found in the description below. Some of them are affiliate links that don't cost you anything, but give me a small commission to help build this channel. Thank you for purchasing through those links. Before getting started, I always make sure to wear the proper PPE. I highly recommend you do the same when working in your shop. All right, let's take a look at the raw materials. We have a cutting wheel, a ruler, a 1024 tap, a sharpie, pliers, and a short screwdriver. Not shown that it is also needed it is some super glue or epoxy, a 1024 by 36 threaded rod, and an aluminum tubing, which is 5 16th outer diameter and has a 0 0.065 inch wall. I started off by measuring 241 millimeters of the aluminum tubing and cutting at the mark. I made sure the cut was square. Next, I tapped the tubing at both ends. I had to be careful since the aluminum is pretty soft and can strip easily. I measured 115 millimeters for the threaded rod and made the cut. While cutting the metal bits, I had my 3D printer making the plastic parts needed for the dart. Total print time was around two hours for one complete set. I created a few much more durable designs of the fins since the original design broke easily due to being 3D printed. With the plastic bits done, we're ready to assemble the dart. For the standard parts that we'll need, we'll need 25 washers, one 1024 nylock nut, one 1024 by half round head screw, one cut to size threaded rod, and one cut to size aluminum tube. For the 3D printed parts, the two required pieces are the fin and the end washer. The tip, weight cover, weight cover cap, and spacers are all optional. The spacers are not shown in this photo. I started by threading the nylock nut onto the threaded rod, then fitting the weight cover over the nut and into the cutout. I hit it with a block to set it, and then thread it all the way down to make room for the tip.
Once the tip fit, I applied three beads of glue to the threads and installed the tip in a counterclockwise rotation to help the glue disperse without pushing it out of the threads. Once the glue was cured, I adjusted the weight cap to sit flush with the trailing end of the tip. Now I will install the washers. I found putting the washers in the same direction helped them nest better and fit perfectly in the cover. After 25 washers, I put the cap on. Now I'll stop the video for a second and say after testing the first one, I found a few revisions that needed to be made during the construction process. I ended up taking all of them apart and applying glue through the threads that are exposed here. With the glue applied, I then threaded the aluminum tubing over the threaded rod and tightened it. Please make sure the super glue is already dried before you install the fin. And there we go. Now I have a completed main body of the lawn dart. The final steps are super easy. The fin slides on the tube very nicely. Then I installed the end washer and retaining screw. I didn't use glue here so I could replace the fins if needed. And look at that, my first start. The fin slides really nice. I made the final measurement to make sure my center of gravity was in the right spot. It's about 20 to 25 millimeters back from the weight. With the first one done, it's time to make the rest. Here I'll highlight four from start to finish. Cue the montage. Okay, now before we go test these, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. It costs you nothing, but helps me make bigger and better videos. All right, let's get to it. Look at that, they fly perfect. I was a little worried about how durable they would be, so I made one or two throws to see if any would break. So the only damage I got was to the original fin design, where the fin snapped off right where the tube ends. I was also able to crack the main weight cover, but a little bit of glue will fix that. So these are a lot of fun to toss around, and the rules are fairly simple, but they're a little bit more than what I want to say on camera, so I'll leave them in the description below. Shortly after I made these, my wife and I went up to her very remote family cabin for the weekend, and we brought them along. We had a lot of fun taking the back roads up into the mountains. We have a ton of fun going on adventures around the Pacific Northwest, and you should check out our other channel in the description below.
Lawn darts are a lot of fun, but very dangerous. The United States Consumer Product Safety Commission recommends if you have any, to destroy them and dispose of them immediately. Thanks for watching this episode of Kevin's Garage. If you hit that like and subscribe button, it'll help me bring you bigger and better videos in the future. All right, I'm gonna get out there and see if I can avoid getting hit in the head with one of these darts. See ya.